This might be something. For the column? Listen, dear Maggie, I'm a freshman in college. Pretty good marks, but not, not exactly, exactly your Don, Don Juan, Juan type. type. Anyway, there's a girl in my psych class who's real cute and real popular, which is why I figured I'd never get near her. So I never even tried. Some of the papers were very scholarly works indeed. In fact, so scholarly that it was quite easy to determine which of the reference books they were copied from. In one unfortunate case, a member of this class copied profusely from the wrong reference material. And I'm going to deal with that after class. However, exceptions aside, I think the results were quite good. In one or two cases, very good indeed. Mr. Ames? Mr. Ames, your attention. I want to commend you in particular on a fine report. It was well thought out, well organized, well written. Good work. All right, now for our next session, I would like you to read chapter 9 and chapter 10 through page 138. This class is dismissed. Hey. Harry. Hi, Greg. How's it going? Not bad. Hey, how'd you like to be going around with that? Yeah. Hey, forget it. Yeah. Oh, right. that is going to be hard to beat. Okay, last chance. Here we go. Oh. No. Oh. Just not your day, son. Right, uh, my pleasure. This is gonna come off kind of gutsy. The thing is, I, I need a favor. Uh, sure. Okay, I really need your help with a term paper, contempt history. Great, uh, on some research or something like that? Well, no. Actually, I was wondering if you could write it for me. Write it? Yeah, I, I've done all the research. It's on Teddy Roosevelt, the big stick policy, that stuff. The problem is, I, I've just gotten myself so bogged down with outside stuff that, that there's just no way I'm going to get the paper done on time. I know, I, it's real dumb. I guess I just took on too much. I flunk history and the, the whole quarter's down the tubes. Well, uh, the problem is it's, uh, Ma Maureen, it's uh, kind of illegal. I suppose it could be, but... Larry, I, I swear, I've never done anything like this before, and I never will again. I, I just have to get past this quarter. Larry, I'm not asking you to do it for free. I'm willing to pay you. I, uh, I couldn't accept money. I, I couldn't do that. And you will help me? paper and it's been handed in but now I feel pretty terrible about the whole thing what I did was all wrong what can I do about it now signed guilty yeah let's use it because it's not just about cheating it's about conscience too huh? yeah. dear conscience stricken you should feel guilty Writing a term paper for your young dream girl means you cheated no less than she. And don't expect too much out of your new relationship. It's bound to generate more contempt than affection. But I think there is something you can do. 
talk to the young lady. Convince her that the only proper course of action is to fess up to her professor together. If you're turned on by old adages, this one should help. Confession is good for the soul. If you see any design in my behavior, it is possible that it existed, although I was unconscious of it. And if I have unconsciously struck you down, I ask your forgiveness. Hey, that's good, Marie. Okay, let's hold up a minute. I want to go over a couple of moves with Bobby. Uh, when you come in, Bobby, uh, hold Could up. I talk with you a minute? Well, I'm, I'm kind of busy. It's uh, about the term paper. Well, like I said, it, it is a bad time. I am kind of busy. Marie, I... Uh... I think we made a mistake. I, I'd really like to talk to you about it. Some other time, okay? Maureen. Look, if I hadn't written your term paper, you wouldn't talk to me in a million years. I know that. But the point is, it was wrong. And I want to do something about it. Like what? I think we ought to go to Professor Miller. And tell him what we did. What? That's crazy. No, it isn't. It's the right thing to do. Maureen! Maureen? Look, I, I've got to go. How's physics? Forget physics. Hey, how's it going? You know who I mean. Maureen. Yeah. Well, I've, I've been kind of busy. I haven't talked to her lately. Busy? I mean, who could be too busy for that? Yeah, but there, there wasn't anything there in the first place, okay? Yeah, well, I guess you kind of figured that for openers. Hey, what's she want, anyway? Just something about the assignment. Yeah, well. And what else? Larry! Are you on your way to study hall? Uh, I guess so. Uh, Greg Allen, Maureen Tyler. Hi. I'll walk with you. See you around. Yeah. I don't blame you for being mad. Can't you just please listen? To what? To an apology. I'm sorry about what happened yesterday, brushing you off like that. I didn't want to listen because I didn't want to hear the truth. Anyway, after you left, I, I thought about it. Cheating, making you cheat, it, it was dumb. You were right. So when I got back last night, I, I did something about it. Like what? Just look at the eyes. Baggy, little red lines, right? I was up all night, but it was worth it. Well, what was? I wrote my own term paper. Oh, Maureen, that's great. Oh, that's really great. Well, when are you going to turn it in? That's the only problem. I, I was going to this morning, and... And then I got to thinking about it. What's the professor going to say when, when I turn in my second term paper? Well, I'll still go with you. We'll tell him the truth. Oh, sure. Sure, we'll tell him the truth and... we'll be expelled. Expelled? Yeah. You're, you're right. I, I never thought of it. It's a mess, isn't it? Larry, wait a minute. What if we could, we could get yours back and, and, and exchange it for this one? But how? Well, I, I don't know, but, but it wouldn't be so wrong, would it? Well, not any more than what we've already done. How do you know he won't be right back? Because I checked. He always takes his coffee break around now. At least 20 minutes. Why does this remind me of Watergate? Which one's Professor Miller's? I don't know. Well, we better find out fast. Jonas! You going to the cafeteria? Come on, I'll buy a cup of coffee. Good. Did you ever get that sewing book? 
Oh, I forgot to tell you, it's in my office. You want it now? Yeah, I mean, if you don't mind. Here they are. Yours? A guy in my class. Mine's got to be somewhere in the pile. Hold it. Seeing him. He does that to everybody, I and mean, it's the same old sanctimonious rhetoric. It's him. In the closet. Well, what are you going to do, Nolan? Here you go. Yeah, read this paragraph. Hey, that's perfect. I could use this in class. How's your afternoon? Loaded. I've got to get going with my term papers. Too bad. Nice day. What'd you have in mind? About three cents. You're on. Uh, where's your stuff? Off oh, my car. Great. Mine's in the office. He's got the term papers? He's working on them. Okay, I think I've got it all figured out. Now, here's the study room. I go to the phone just off the corridor here. I ask Professor Miller. Somebody gets him. He comes out to the main desk to take the call. Meanwhile, the faculty study room is empty, and that's when you make your move. Well, wait a minute. How do you know it's empty? I checked five minutes ago. He's the only one in there, and nobody else from the faculty has gone in. Anyway, you... Come around the back and climb in the study room through the window, right here. Climb in? How high is it? Uh, about like those. It looks pretty high. Okay, so I'm not a jock. I didn't say anything. That's what you were thinking. Larry, look. You've got this thing like... Like the only guys I hang around with are, are jocks. Well, that's the way it looks. Unless, of course, maybe you need something. You know, that was rotten. That was really rotten. You're right. Maureen, I'm sorry. That was dumb. No, it... It was true. I... I did use you. You shouldn't be involved in this. It's not your responsibility. It never was. No, I'm involved because I want to be. We could switch. Or you could do the phone. No, we'll do it just the way you planned. Too late. And he's got the term papers with him. Dear Meg. Coffee machine and back is a good six or seven minutes. We've got plenty of time. Unless it's already graded my paper. Keep your fingers crossed. Where are you taking this? Larry. Got it? It's not graded yet. Oh, great. Here. Good, let's go. What's going on in here? Uh... All right. Wait right here till I get Professor Miller. And don't try to take off. I know your faces. I think we blew it. Possibly. Great. Just 
what I needed. Why don't we take off? Maybe he doesn't know us. Maureen, I think we've goofed enough. Yeah, I guess you're right. Oh, Larry, we're going to be expelled. You know that. Thanks, Barney. I'll take it. Well, Miss Tyler, I understand you and your friend were visiting me. Professor Miller, uh, th there, there is an explanation for all of this. I'm anxious to hear it. Th this is Larry Ames. Delighted, Mr. Ames. Professor, none of this is Larry's fault. I, I asked him to write a paper for me, and he did. This one. And then he persuaded me that it, that it was a mistake, so, so I wrote my own. Uh, that one, in, in the pile. Let me get this straight. You mean you snuck in here to replace his with yours? I guess certainly a unique pair of crooks. Caught putting the money back in the safe. But that doesn't change your status, does it? Professor Miller, it's actually my fault. If I hadn't agreed to write the term paper in the first place, none of this would have happened. No, Larry, it, it, I'm the one okay, to blame. Okay, okay, no, no, no. What I don't understand is why you didn't write your own paper in the first place, Miss Tyler. Because I'm dumb. I, I got involved in the, in, in the debating finals and a school play and, and World Environment Week and, and running for class treasurer. I just didn't think I could get the paper in on time, but... I found out I could have because I stayed up all night, and I did it. Anyway, that's why we're here. I'm sorry, Professor. I guess you know what the situation calls for, don't you? Yes. Yes, sir. You said it, Miss Tyler, pretty dumb. Getting expelled for something like this. The moment I reported you to go up before the board and out. Unless, of course, I don't report it. Okay, there's one time. Now get out of here. Go on. And burn this thing. Right away. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Professor. <laughs> nice guy. Were we lucky? You're not kidding. Just tell the truth. Maggie was right. Who? Uh, just this, uh, this, an aunt of mine. Oh, Larry, you, you were terrific. Thanks. I, uh, guess you gotta get back. Yeah. I guess so. It's been kind of fun. I'm almost going to miss sneaking around. Me too. Well, I'll maybe see you in class sometime. Sure. Larry. You sound like you're going to the South Pole. No, it's just that I know people get busy. They don't have that much time. Yes, they do. If they like other people. You know, it really isn't that late. Uh, are you hungry? Starving. How about a pizza? Oh, good. Okay, great. 